Hi, my name is Caroline Poland and I'm the founder and CEO of Poland and Associates Consulting. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about what happens in our bodies and our nervous systems when we start to experience a threat. So what does this look like for us right now? Well, Bessel van der Kolk, who wrote the book Body Keeps the Score, has a wonderful quote in the book that I think really speaks to what we're going through right now. And he says this, if an organism is stuck in survival mode or sympathetic nervous system dominance, its energies are focused on fighting off unseen enemies, which leaves no room for nurture, care, and love. For us humans, it means that as long as the mind is defending itself against invisible assaults, our closest bonds are threatened, along with our ability to imagine, plan, play, learn, and pay attention to other people's needs. And I think that that says so much to um, what many people might be experiencing right now, that it's hard to connect in relationship the way that we want. Maybe we are uh, fighting more, feeling more aggravated by people around us. Maybe uh, for those of you who are students or taking a class that feels really hard to concentrate or focus, to learn, to remember facts, things like that. Because when we are sympathetic nervous system dominant and when we are faced with this constant barrage of invisible assaults of threats, um, we just, we lose access to our prefrontal cortex in the way that we otherwise have it. So the ways that we used to cope are struggle now or maybe feel like they don't work because our brain is so armored up for this flight or fight response. Maybe we can't learn or remember the information that we're learning. And again, because we need that prefrontal cortex and executive function to learn well, maybe we don't have access to that nearly as well now as we used to. So each of us as humans have what we call the window of tolerance. And this is just the window or the range that we each have where we can optimally function or regulate as humans. And um, if we can stay in that range, then we can stay in that good parasympathetic nervous system dominance where we have access to that wise brain that we, we so need when we're doing most of life, life's tasks. But when we start to experience a threat or we lose that good nervous system dominance, we start to move into that sympathetic nervous system dominance. What happens is we either um, go above that window of tolerance or we drop below into either hyperarousal or hypoarousal. Some of what we might experience as anxiety or depression is simply just our bodies, our nervous system going outside of our optimal window of tolerance, that ability that we have to cope and regulate in, in healthy ways. So sometimes I think that it's really helpful just to begin to explain to ourselves what's happening in our bodies, that I might feel like I'm in danger, but I need to ask myself, am I really in danger? I might feel uh, fearful, but it's time then to be curious and other videos that I've talked about about being that curious observer of yourself. Um, is there something that's going on that I need to feel fearful about? Or is this uh, my body getting outside of its window of tolerance? Is there a perception of a threat that might be kicking me into hyperarousal or hypoarousal? And again, right now, part of the really hard thing about living it and regulating and using coping skills is that um, there is a perception of threat constantly, and that threat is invisible. So we can't see it. We never know when it's coming. And so the, nat the body's natural response for survival is to stay armored up fairly consistently in order to navigate that. And yet that comes with cost when we start to do that. And so again, that impacts our relationships. It impacts our overall health. Uh, maybe it takes away our ability to cope. In, in ways that we otherwise would cope. It impacts our ability to learn or to engage in our work well, just to think effortfully. Uh, and then it impacts our ability uh, to eat maybe the way that we otherwise would because our autonomic nervous system impacts digestion. So the situation with uh, COVID-19 right now is really a double threat because not only is there this consistent perception of a threat anytime we leave the house, but there is 
an actual real threat. There is a present threat. And so it's really a both and, not only is there a consistent perception of a threat, but there is an actual threat. And so our body's trying to navigate that every day. And that's some of the exhaustion that we feel right now uh, because our, our bodies and our minds are having to work to um, regulate and then we become dysregulated, regulate, dysregulated because of this consistent perception of a threat. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Poland and Associates Consulting. Continue to check back on this channel for other videos on mental health and wellness during this time.